flying start for our pole man over on the right hand side gate five six Smolders alongside him though but going into turn two he almost grabbed a little bit too much uh, whiskey too early for that but he did take over the lead immediately Smolders was there in second Vettik was third Karu was fourth around the outside and as he was being challenged here by Guillaume Ferez Ferez went down David Brathras was well placed there at that point but then he went missing as Smolders fell from third place Karu then made a mistake that allowed Osterhagen through David Bratheras was buried outside of the top 20 in 25th place by the time he re-emerged on our screens. By now, this guy here, the championship leader, Andrea Bonacorsi, was always inside the top four or five positions. He was in fourth because he was ahead of Osterhagen at that moment. Guillaume Ferrez was making light work. But the race leader, Max Paulsen, made a mistake, threw away a four-second advantage and was almost passed here by the 6-5-1. Change of hands in third. Razzini getting passed there by Bonacorsi. But then the little Italian responded immediately, but so too did Bonacorsi. Around the outside of the Husqvarna rider and into third, and that's where he would stay. A bobble there coming out of the final turn under the start straight. Cost Paulson a little bit of time, but... In the end, he was able to hang on by one and a half seconds over Vettik. Bonacorsi was third. Bonacorsi, your new champion, of course. The final race of the 125 European Championship presented by FMF Racing. Watch this. The guy in about third place, he high sides. That was Pietro Razzini. And he took the championship winner down there with him, the new European champion, 32, Bonacorsi. Romeo Caru was in there as well. Up front, though, everyone was flying. The early leader was Ivano Van Er, but Met Miko Vetic was on a charge. He found his way past Valerio Latta to move into third, and then Max Paulsen couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the leader, Van Erp, down on the deck. Van Erp picked himself up in 13th place as Ferrez went on a charge. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Every time you watch it, I can just bursting down the inside to take over from David Bratheras. Then Mio was having a fantastic scrap as well as Van Erp started finding his way past Bratheras. That got him up into 8th place. Mio, though, went out in the latter stages of the race. And it was a win for Max Paulsen for the second time today. Vettik was second, Perez third, Prunier fourth, Osterhagen, Van Er, Kucherov, Resilis. Your champion was home in 11th, but your overall standings today, Max Paulsen, your winner, Vettik second, Perez third, but there's your European champion, Andrea Bonacorsi. And Andrea Bonacorsi, the European champion, in the EMX 125 classification presented by FMF Racing. Four wins and a second. He went on a rampage in Italy at Faenza when he won all six races as well. He won a race here uh, a round ago in Belgium and he leaves here as the European champion. Congratulations to Fantic and Andrea Bonacorsi and the team manager, Corrado Matti. And there is the gold plate, the gold medal, the FMF trophy. Andrea Bonacorsi, you got the job done. You completely dominated this year with four overall victories. A tough last race, but it really doesn't matter because you already had the gold plate in your hand. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Yes, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, tough uh, last race, but uh, yeah, I have a crash in the start. But yeah, I come up quite good. I finished 11, but yeah, I have the gold plate. So it's just amazing and I feel really good, yes. Well deserved. Thank Congratulations, you. Thank you very Andrea. Much.